Hello, everybody. First and foremost, I want to congratulate a Springfield native, a hometown legend, who goes by the name of Benton. Um, we just received word and information that he has signed with the Los Angeles Rams. Springfield native, so you know I want to say thank you and shout out to you, Benton. Good job that you made it. And um, sky's the limit, baby. Springfielder in the NFL. We love it. Finally, we got one. <laughs> anyway, uh, May 3rd, 2022. Welcome to episode 338 of 4 and 3 Sports Talk. My name is Raheem Escalai. Oh, uh, good to have you with us on this Tuesday. Uh, we have lots to discuss as far as Western Mass Sports is concerned. Um, and we got news and scores from all your faves. Um, episode 338 should start now. Yeah, I'm smiling. P.S. I have fresh power rankings for you. New and improved. And they will be let go in this episode. So let's start with the, the news. The New York Mets designate the struggling Robinson Cano. Um, 1.95 batting average. Um, to the minors. And I think it's good he's starting to suck. Um, maybe he'll get back into his groove down there. But he's definitely not... Not performing well, and the Mets are winning. It's weird. I don't know. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins, six games, pure performance enhancing drug suspension. Cardinals are soon to cut ties with the star wide receiver, per Albert Breer. I'm not sure if that is really going to happen, if he's going to get released um, because of a failed drug test. Um, I think rather he's just going to sit the suspension and then come back in the middle of the year and kill it. But Kyler is in a little bit of a hole for the first six. Uh, the first six games, at least, because, you know, they lost Christian Kirk to free agency. They kind of were struggling at the tight end position. Um, and now D-Hop is going to be out for a month and a half, and that's not going to bode well as far as, you know, you want to get out there when the season starts and um, and get on track, you know. Um, the WNBA has decided to honor Brittany Griner in a way that is... I don't really agree with it. She's getting a floor decal. Um, I think she needs to be freed. I think she needs to be brought home. And that those are the two important things as far as Brittany Griner is concerned. Um, now, the other news, Gronk says that he will return to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers if Julian Edelman signs. This is no bullshit. This really happened. Um, it's going to be crazy to see if Julian does go down to Tampa Bay. Um, another, 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 t another uh, Tampa Bay story in the news. Uh, Toronto smokes Tampa Bay Lightning five zip to take a game one series lead. Hashtag Stanley Cup playoffs. I called that one. Uh, Carolina opens up a can of whoop ass on my Bruins um, five to one. They take a game one series lead. Game two is tonight, I believe, for uh, both of those series um, as well. Golfer Greg Norman says that the top golfers backed out of the Saudi league due to Phil Mickelson's comments. And I will read them because I agree with them, honestly. I think Phil was in every right to, to say what he did. Um, and it goes like this. Those are some scary motherfuckers to get involved with, talking about the Saudis and the princes and stuff like that. We know... We know that they killed um, Washington Post reporter Jamal Khashoggi um, and have a horrible record on humans right, human rights. Um, all those statements are true. I completely agree with Phil Mickelson, and he was right for saying that, speaking out, speaking out against a regime that makes murdering people, especially Americans, is okay. No, it's not. Fuck you guys. Uh, the Saints have brought the Honey Badger home, yeah, former LSU star, Kansas City uh, star, he won a, a ring with the Chiefs, I believe. Um, the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, is coming home to the Saints, finally. Um, terms of the deal have yet to be disclosed, but we will get those to you as soon as we know. More NFL stuff. Brian Flores' lawyer argues against NFL Commish Roger Goodell and his arbitration of the lawsuit versus the NFL. I really think Goodell needs to go, and I am hoping that Brian Flores' lawyers are pushing as hard as hell to be able to win this case. Um, I think it's important, and I think when hiring coaches in the NFL, there's no need to be racist at all, or just hire white guys. 
Um, Kansas City Chiefs signed former Clemson Tigers star wide receiver Justin Ross. Let's talk a little bit about him because he's nasty. Uh, he had a spinal cord injury that delayed his NFL career at, um, when he came out of Clemson. 112 catches for 1,865 yards and 17 touchdowns in his first two years until that uh, spinal cord injury kind of stopped him. Um, I'm extremely excited to see what he's going to do at the next level, um, and if he's going to play with that same that same grit, that same hard intention he played with before uh, the injury, or if he's just going to be nursing it, kind of like you know looking around like don't hit my neck. <coughs> um, so yeah, um, that happened in his spine in spring 2020, and congratulations to Justin Ross for recovering and getting signed by an NFL team. Uh, no, 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 the Pittsburgh Steelers declined the linebacker Devin Bush's fifth-year option. If you remember Devin Bush, he was drafted in the first round, 10th overall, 2019, to replace legendary Ryan Shazier, who was bat- had a couple medical issues. Um, he hasn't really done anything um, in his career. It's like eye-popping. Uh, he was set to make $10.9 million this year. Um but instead, he will hit the market as a free agent at the end of the 2022 season. Alabama Crimson Tide corner Eli Ricks arrested for speeding in possession of marijuana. Hope he gets over this because I have Eli Ricks as my number one corner um, when we are talking about the draftees for next year. Yeah, I've already started working on that. Um, James Madison Dukes, they canceled the 2022 softball season um, in honor of Lauren Burnett. You know, she died. Um, and kind of like, unex- it wasn't really explained other than, you know, maybe suicide. And uh, I was a little upset that I wasn't able to find anything to find out, like, where this issue ca- came from. I don't know. Uh, Franklin Tech bats are on fire. Somebody called the fire department. Um, they handled Smith Academy 13-1 to in a one-sided softball game, one that you should have seen. And that's it for the news. Let's talk about Western Mass Sports. We'll start with girls softball. We'll be quickly because we got power rankings at the end of this episode. Franklin Tech over Smith Academy, as we just said, 13-1. to East Hampton over Chickabee Comp, 16-0. Athol beats Mohawk Trail nine to three. Westfield over Agawam four two. Pope Francis over Commerce sixteen to one. Hampshire over Minichog thirteen to one. In Munson twenty three. Springfield International Charter four. Now let's talk about tennis. We got St. Mary's over Chicopee four to one. Springfield International Charter over Holyoke three to two. In Westfield over West Springfield a three to two as well. The lone lacrosse game was South Hadley over Belcher Town twenty three to seven. Um, now move on to the boys' side of things. Tennis, we got Ludlow over South Hadley, 5-zip. Hendon Charter School of Science East, 4. Pioneer Valley Charter, Pioneer Valley Christian, I'm sorry, 1. And West Springfield over Westfield, 3-1. to one. The West side. Volleyball, Westfield over Comp, 3-zip. And Duggan over Commerce, 3-2. to two. Um, Let's see, sorry, I messed up a little bit. And that's it for volleyball. Uh, let's talk... Uh, baseball now. Agawam over Amherst ten to four. Chicopee over Holyoke six to four. East Armada over Minichog five four. West Springfield beats Granby six to nil. Pope Francis over Westfield two to one. Central over Northampton five one. Shout out to Brendan Guy. Um, Turner's Falls over Lee nine to eight. Smith Volk over Putnam twelve zip. St Mary's over Cytec twelve to six. Athol over Mayhar seven six. Uh, Smith Academy over Ludlow, 12-2. West Springfield over Granby, 6-0. And Gateway over Commerce, 8-7. I believe we might have, might have repeated the West Springfield uh, Granby score. My apologies if so. That's it for Western Mass Sports. Check back tomorrow for more news, scores, and updates on everything you love, Western Mass. Now on to the NBA. Miami over Philly, 106-92, and they lead the series 1-0. Phoenix beats Dallas, 121-114, and takes a one-series, a one-game series lead as well. And that's it for the NBA. Let's talk NHL Stanley Cup Finals. Uh, Stanley Cup Playoffs. This is the first round. Carolina smokes Boston 5-1. to one, Takes a one-series lead. One-zero seri- game series lead. Toronto beats Tampa Bay 5-zip. They lead that series 1-0. The Kings over Edmonton 4-3. to three, Same thing. They lead the series 1-zip. And St. Louis over Minnesota 4 to nothing. They lead that series one game to nothing. And that is it for the NHL. Let's talk baseball, MLB. Yanks over the Blue Jays, 3-2. to two. Twins over the Orioles, 2-1. White Sox over the Angels, 3-zip. to zip. Uh, Arizona over Miami, 5-4. to four. St. Louis over Kansas City, 1-zip. Tampa Bay over Oakland, 6-1. to one. And Houston over Seattle, 3-0. Mm-hmm. On to NCAA softball, the lone game. Old Miss, 3. Tennessee, 1. 
And that is it for your sports and scores for Messer Mass and the professional stuff. We'll have tune back tomorrow for you to see more information on the NBA, NHL, NCAA, and Western Mass sports. But now we got power rankings. It is time. We'll start with girls softball. Uh, Westfield Bombers are at 9-0. They're the number one team. South Hadley, number two, they're 9-0. Amherst is number three, they're 8-0. Uh, Bacona's 8-0, also at number 4. Uh, Ludlow Lions are 9-1 at number 5. Franklin, Texas, with the same record, is at 9-1 at number 6. Agawam, 9-3 at number 7. Minichog, 9-3 at 8. Number 9, Munson, 7-0. And, oh, and number 10 is Gateway, and they have a record of 6-2. On to girls across. Just going right through it here. The number 1 team is Mount Greylock. They are 8-1. Agawam, 8-3 for number 2. South Hadley, 7-3 for number 3. Amherst, 6-3 for number 4. Number five, Long Meadow Lancers are six and four. West Springfield Terriers are six and five. At number six, number seven, Hoosick Valley five and one. Number eight, Lee five and two. Number nine, Wakona five and three. And number ten, Westfield five and four. That's it for the girls' power rankings. Let's talk about the boys. We'll start with baseball first. Nine and zero, Smith Folk heads this list at number one. Westfield Tech close behind at eight and one. Southwick at nine and two for number three. Pope Francis is number four at eight and four. As you know, they moved up as as compared to last week's list. Turners Fall seven and two at number five. Central McCann Tech and Westside all have a record of six and three at spots six seven. <coughs> excuse me, spots six seven and eight. Uh, number nine, Pioneer Valley's five and zero. Oh, number ten, Taconic. They are six and one. Now on to a lacrosse. Wakona nine and zero, oh, a perfect nine and zero. Oh. They are number one. Hoosick Valley seven and zero oh, at number two. Long Meadow seven and one at three. Minichog seven and four at number four. Number five is Lennox. They are six and one. Agawam is six and three at number six. St. Mary's is five and four at number seven. Chimney five and four at number eight. Westfield five and four at number nine. And number ten is the Munson Mustangs. They are four and two. This concludes episode 338 of 4 and 3 Sports Talk. My name is Rahim Eskali. We have 48 subscribers over there on YouTube, so if you would like to help us up that number, please subscribe. Give us a like, something like that. Uh, we are on Twitter at uh, Rahim underscore radio, a.k.a. 4 and 3 Sports Talk. And we are here on Facebook trying to grow the show and make this something good for Western Massachusetts. Uh, love you all. Wishing up and out success. And we will see you tomorrow. Um, I believe I have an announcement to make, actually. I think. After taking a few days off from the NFL, um, tomorrow the brand new segment called 32 Teams in 32 Days is here. Um, NFL draft style. I will be going team by team again, talking about the rookies in the most recent class. Um in the NFL, so please stay tuned. There is no other coverage you can find um, in in depth as far as it comes to football, professional or collegiate, or youth football, or flag football. We got it all. We have all the information here, and we are the best as far as coverage of that sport is concerned. Um, everything football right here on 4 and 3 Sports Talk. See you tomorrow morning. We will start with the NFC North, and I'm going to let you all guess what team I'm going to start with. Love y'all. Wishing nothing but out to success. I'll see you Wednesday.